Do you want to be a little doe and I'll be a deer? Oh, I think that was a little burp. And a yawn. Clearly, he's not interested. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole and today we are doing my second ever Halloween tutorial on this cutesy little deer. So I have one tutorial that I posted probably three years ago where I turned myself into Cindy Lou Who from Whoville, which really is kind of beauty makeup. It's not Halloween-y makeup, obviously. I'm making myself look like a who, but it was easy to achieve because again, it's beauty makeup. I unfortunately do not have the gene of being able to have the patience to get through like the not so perfect part of Halloween makeup until it all comes together at the end. I get really, really frustrated. So I decided this year I was gonna reel it in and I was gonna do three things. One, I was gonna make sure you could get all of this stuff at the drugstore, if not your makeup that you already have. Two, I wanted it to be affordable. And three, I wanted anybody to be able to wear this. So you wear this if you're a kid, if you're a teen, if you're an adult, if you're a girl, if you're a boy, whatever you are, you can wear this makeup. If you wanted to kind of make it more adult, you could you know, wear a tighter dress, some heels. If you wanted to just do what I did, like as a teen, just wear a little spaghetti strap and you know whatever you wanted on the bottoms. Or if you wanted to do this on like your kid, you could get like a brown onesie and then glue some white felt so it kind of looks like a deer. The options are endless with this. If you wanted to gore it up, which is available at like any drugstore or Halloween store. You could put some blood around here and drip it down. If you wanted to make it kind of, you know, more sparkly, you could add some glitter to your face or some of those rhinestones, which are really big right now. This is just kind of the foundation for whatever you guys want to do. So I just wanted to make sure to put something out there that each and every one of you could achieve because unless you are huge into Halloween and you have enough time to plan, chances are you're walking into a drugstore, you're seeing what's around, and then you're gonna do that when you get home. So I happened to walk into Walgreens and I saw that the Kiss Press On Nails, they had a little stand for their nails and they had a girl with deer makeup on and I thought it was super cute so I wanted to kind of create my own version at home and this is what I came up with and trust me, if I could do this, you guys could do this. So I'm going to do a voiceover for this because it's really hard to talk and do makeup at the same time for Halloween. And it is a little tedious with like, you know, lining your lips and this. There are some meticulous parts that we're going to kind of speed over as I talk through. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this cutesy little deer makeup, go ahead and keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a skin tone foundation and apply a nice even coat all over the face and neck. And then I'm going to blend that out with a sponge to make sure it looks nice and seamless. And then just make sure you have a reference picture in front of you, obviously. And you're going to go in with a foundation or contour stick, whatever you have, that's a lot deeper than your skin tone. And this is what we're going to use to contour the face. So obviously this is not being applied in the normal contours. It's almost following the same 3E rule, but I'm applying it a lot heavier and then I'm bringing it down almost in like a widow's peak on the forehead and then we're gonna highlight under there with our concealer so don't worry about this looking messy it's going to until we get everything to come together with the highlights in the end so I really just took my time blending here until I got to this point and then I went ahead and started to contour my decollete Okay, so now we're gonna go in and highlight. So I'm just taking a concealer that's much too light for me, and I'm gonna highlight under the eyes, down the nose, above the brows, and then on the chin and above the mouth area. We want all of these areas to be fairly light. I know it looks weird that I'm highlighting above the brow like that, but if you look at a picture of a deer, they have this whiteness above their eyes that almost comes to an arch. And then I'm just gonna blend it out and right into that contour. You'll notice a theme here. I always go in with a beauty sponge after I use a brush just to make sure everything looks seamless.
All right, so for eyebrows, I'm just doing my brows like I would normally do them. Do whatever you're comfortable with here. We're just kind of going for a pretty look. All right, and we are throwing it back to the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and I'm just putting that all over the lid as a base, and then we're gonna set that and all of the concealer we use to highlight with a white shadow. I'm using Glucose from the Blood Sugar Palette, but use whatever you have. All right, I told you we'd keep things simple here, so I am sticking with the same palette and I'm taking a medium brown called Ouch and I'm just gonna deepen all of the contours. You can use a bronzer here or any brown shadow that you had. Sticking with that same color ouch, we're gonna go ahead and add just a touch to the outer fourth of the eye and then blend it inwards. We do want the eye to look nice and open, so we don't wanna take it too far in, and we do not wanna take this under the eyes at all. We're just adding a little bit of depth to the outer corner. All right, and then I'm gonna grab a black gel liner. This one is from Maybelline, and I'm gonna do a very, very tiny micro wing. I'm gonna keep this as close to the lash line as possible. And then I'm also gonna extend the inner corner a little bit so we look a little more animalistic. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that NYX Jumbo Pencil once again, and we're gonna line the lower water line to make our eyes look nice and wide and dough-like. And then I'm gonna grab a black shadow, and I'm gonna go right over that gel liner to soften things up. And finally, my favorite part, we're grabbing some falsies. These are from Kiss, they're called Chiffon, and I think they are the absolute perfect lashes if you wanna look like a deer. And I don't know what I'm doing here, but we're gonna grab some mascara, and we're just gonna blend our falsies in with our natural lashes. All right, and now for the fun part, I'm grabbing my concealer once again. This one is a matte concealer that's gonna dry down and I'm just gonna start to add in little spots all over the places where we put the contour. So I kind of keep the bigger spots towards the back and then I kind of cascade them to the center as I work towards the center of my face. I also found as I worked towards the forehead, I liked that they got smaller as we moved up, so I don't have any super large ones on the forehead. I'm varying sizes still, but I'm not doing anything too huge up there. So I cut a lot of this footage out, but I'm just referencing my picture of my deer over and over here. And then I'm looking from one side of my face to the other to make sure things look cohesive, not perfectly symmetrical, but cohesive. And then I'm grabbing that black gel liner and I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this to the top lip. And then I'm gonna start to form my nose. So it took me a while to get this nose down because I wanted to work small rather than go in and make a really large line and potentially mess something up. So just take your time with it and go with what feels right. Then I'm grabbing a brown shadow from an eyeshadow palette and I'm just gonna extend that line down the nose a little bit. I'm not bringing it all the way down, but you could definitely do that if you wanted to. And from here, I'm just gonna make minor corrections. So I got rid of some shadow on my brow bone and I'm adding a lot more of the white eyeshadow glucose from the blood sugar palette. And I'm so happy I did this because I think it really rounds out the look. And this part is completely optional, but I went in and added some spots down both of these sides of my neck. I just kept it where I put the contour, and I think this looks super cute, but completely optional. 
And that is it for this one, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let me know below. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.